guys, Olympi Summer here. Today I'll be making another YouTube tutorial of how to make your hair so silky and soft. Now, yes, I done this rarity already, and yes, the hair is really silky and it's really gorgeous. Actually, I'm not really gonna lie. I know I could have done that to my other fingerings, but I did not know how to do that first until when I tried this rarity. <laughs> yeah. LP Knight saw this is gonna be your your base for, for rarity as the OC. So how to do this is I actually got a little blossom to test out because I'm not sure if it will work the same thing as rarities. I mean the hairs are not really the same. So I had those this little boss right here, which is I I bought a duplicate because I'm not using this one because this one I probably might redo all of them, but it, it might take forever to you know redo all of them. But that means I have to make redo their hairstyles and everything, and it's pretty much hard to do. Ugh. Yeah, pretty sad. But anyway, let's get started. I have this new Lily Blossom I probably might be using for a series, but I don't care. So, anyway, let's get to the trip to the bathroom again. Because one of you says the tutorial how to make Dewdrop Dazzle's hairstyle. And yay! Okay, let's just get started anyway. Okay, so this is the same bathroom I did. Um, this is the lily balls I'll be using. Um, this is actually a soap that I tested out with my other figurines. And yes, this soap is is this one is hand working soap keeping. So if it's made with olive oil and I can't even read it because I I'm too lazy. Because this soap would actually make your pony's hair uncurl. Because the whole point of it is that you're supposed to take the uncurls out. Most people just wash it out and then just do it. But most of them becomes rough because there's like no like shampoo or anything. I probably might redo all of them. But it's going to take forever to do it. So let's get started with this. Okay, I set my camera somewhere really safe. So that it doesn't do this generic and stuff. But anyway, let's get started because I got this soap pretty much easy. Okay, so then I'm just going to put it all over the pony. It doesn't matter if it's all over the body or not. The whole point of it is that you need to take the hair and it almost fell. Yes. All right, I set it somewhere really safe so that it doesn't fall. So the whole point of it is that you're supposed to uncurl the hair. Same thing with the tail if you want to. And damn, this hair is going good already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, for most younger viewers, this probably might be easy for you. Um, but you have to do uh, you have to do like some sort of dangerous thing, which I suggest you should get your parents' permission first before starting, because you will be using a flat iron, which I bought it like what like at Walmart like two months ago. <laughs> So, yeah, I still use it to this day for my yarn custom. Anyway, let's go do this because now I'm going to put in some warm water. And I'm too scared to do this because the thing will might fall and the camera might fall. So, oh my god, how am I supposed to do this? Hold up. Yes, I got it through. Uh -huh. Then just wash it all off. And as you can see, I uncurled the hair. Yeah, it's just probably my wash my own hands. So, so, uh, yeah, it probably might be a little bit easier to do this. And I'm watching the phone so that the ad doesn't end it. Uh, I swear. Okay. The hair is now uncurled. Now I am supposed to be waiting for like a few minutes so for this hair to dry. Because I don't want the fly iron to get water and then I have to rebuy it again. I mean you could do this like two or three times. I did the rarity like one time and then add like like a few more while I was watching it. So yeah. I mean you can add like so many times. I mean like I'm still smoothing it out. So, yes. Um, anyway, I'll be right back because we will be going upstairs to my room again and then use a flat iron. Yay! Make sure you get adult permission before you start this project because it could be dangerous. The flyer could burn you. 
All right, guys, guess what? I got Lily Blossom's hair like this. Awesome. Haha. <laughs> now, time to get on to the dangerous part using a flat iron. Now, I do have it right now, and it's on. I'm, I'm letting it be on for a few minutes. So, here's some safety tips for this. Make sure you use, like, the end point, like I will show you guys right now. This is this is for only for people if you know how to use a flat iron. But here are these two things right here. And you're supposed to hold this to keep it on. And for the buttons, because mine's so different from other curling irons, I'm not sure if yours. But this is low and high. Usually, I put the yarns on high. But I decided to put the hairs on lows because it will technically probably might burn the hair. I mean, it will feel hot and burn. So let's plug this in and let it heat. And also, I had to smell it to see because I had to put like a few. I have, I'm supposed to smell it so that so it's heating. So yeah. Okay. While I'm waiting for this to, to like, while I'm waiting for this to like, you know, just. Let he for a few minutes. Lily Blossom hair did actually dry for a few minutes, and yes, I had to end the video and then use a freaking iMovie to edit all the clips here because look, crazy hair. Yeah, I guess this is like a most likely faster way to dry the hair, but I just like to keep it natural, you know. And yes, this is what the result what happened when I when it was dry. I mean, it was like goofy all over the place, like savage. <laughs> I can smell it. I can smell it, guys. I can already smell the curling iron. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to position this, but I will position it in a way. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is that you need to get the pony's hair out of the way. Make sure it doesn't burn the key mark or anything. Okay, I got it. Okay, so this is actually pretty much simple. Make sure that the flat iron does not get near the um, key mark in the eyes because it probably might will burn and my probably will melt. And yes, this is probably look like it's silky hair already. I mean, I could silk the tail. I mean, it's like a little bit dry now, so yeah. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Ugh. Oh my god, no, that's from the paint from the um, freaking iron. Oh my god, I didn't realize that just, just now. Oh my gosh, I almost burned myself. That was so close. Okay, so this is um, what... And the hair is a little bit warm, so yeah. I'm going to do one more strip. I got it. And one more strip for the tail. I don't know why this tail's orange off camera, but it is for some reason. Okay, okay, I'm just just checking if the video's still going. Okay, now turn off this this mega jig of bite and here you go. <laughs> I widened Lily Blossom's tail. Yeah, so this is how you get the gorgeous look of hair. Um Yes, I did curl it a little bit because I was curling it in a certain different way that it, it just curls like that. <laughs> so yeah, compared to this rarity, because I I understand that it's a unicorn and it has a different way, but I did it a different way, so you could say that I cheated, but I didn't. <laughs> I did actually cheat, cheated, cheated. So what do you guys think of this tutorial? Um... <laughs> Comment down below if you want more of these tutorials of how to do with my ponies. And yes, I probably might do the same thing for all of them next time. Because they need a little bit of a makeover. Because most of them are like so tangly, like dang. And yes, I probably might redo their hairstyles. I probably won't. But we'll see. Anyway, I will see you guys all later. Bye. Bye.